Whoa, screw up and hundreds of people are dead. My name's Robert Sapolsky. I'm professor of neuroscience at Stanford. What's interesting though is to look at occupations that are immensely, immensely stressful where what you see are two different profiles of outcome. And the poster child for that for years has been people studying air traffic controllers. There's the folks who burn out after a year on the job, and then there's the people who are perfectly fine and are working there happily for 30 years. When you first start a job like that, like before one of your sessions, two hours before your blood pressure is elevated, you're already anticipatory stress, you finish your like shift and two hours afterward you're still hypertensive and you come back to the ones who are gonna last for 30 years and they park the car in the parking lot and they're still running like this, they sit down in the chair, they turn on the stress response and two seconds after the end of their shift, they're thinking about dinner. They turn on the stress response like crazy when they need it and they turn it off the rest of the time. Bioengineering term, they are maximizing their signal to noise ratio. That's the profile of a successful one there. The people who burn out after a year, they still have the huge anticipatory rise, the huge recovery period. That's the marker of someone who's coping with an enormously stressful period and stressful job. 